Effect, and he was one of the writers. The band is a pretty cool band, I have to say, not only because they are so unashamedly callous at times, but because they have so many great and cool, interesting ideas. Did I say the name? I didn't say the name, actually, right. This is a great album to start talking about them, because that little bit of notion of yours, uh, they take that idea you have of them, and they transform it into something more, into a deeper understanding of the of, of the music they were making and the band. And the, the album is called, the album is called Not Available, Not Available. So Not Available, I mean, it's, it's an operetta, a radio play, a rock opera, a, theatrical musical stage thingy. I mean, basically the music of the residents will initially sound very weird to you and even more if you haven't listened to Minimal Synth. Minimal Synth is a very underground, probably very underground thing, very do-yourself, very independent kind of thing. The, 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 the keyboards, the position of its sound, it's very different to what you usually hear in, in other music. So you come to listen to the residents expecting this cuckoo crazy music, I like goofy playing around music. But when you listen to Not Available, you get hit with a wall of pure and honest, emotional, bleak, heartfelt songs. Heartfelt songs. Yeah, that sounds right. See, I'm repeating what I'm what I say in the script, so it's like you're being a part of the writing process. It's a very fun sensation when writing it and recording it. Like, um, it's emotional, bleak, heartfelt song. Yeah, heartfelt song. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so the soundscape, completely alien. The voices sound like goofy, cartoony, Martian voices doing weird sounds. And you feel like you are experiencing a weird ritual. And the lyrics that are sung by pretty goofy cartoony vocals start to talk about depression and wondering if, if you should try to help the people you see you are suffering or if you should let things be. And you're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Where is the goofy music? It's open, I was not in a talking diamond ring. It's open, I was not near a talking diamond ring. So you think, what the hell is this about? And you listen to the whole thing and realize this this is not really experimental. I mean, yeah, it experiments a lot, but it's not the heart of the record to say, whoa, let's explore the ending of sound and do a college and push the limit. The heart of the music is not in the sound, but in the emotions, the characters of the story as well. So according to the Residence Wiki, this album was shot in, shot in during four, four years and then only released because they were behind their schedule with another recording they were working on. And I mean, the band usually says they work with the theory of obscurity, more on that later, but this work comes less about obscurity and more because it's a very personal, record for the band. Nobody knows what happened anymore, but it seems there oh. were some tensions among the members of the band. The band, one of the writers wasn't doing so well. Their first record only sold 40 copies. 40 copies. And there was a fight and they started to do rehearsals. Rehearsals as a way of group therapy. And there are and the rehearsals and characters and the theme of those sessions developed in the concept and the whole idea of not available. I don't really want to read the whole article to you, but if you do, it's actually a really nice read. And anyway, the point is that this album comes from a place that was probably really embarrassing for the people who made it. I mean, it's not just, it doesn't come from a place where music is made without the influence of the audience or thinking about what is necess necessarily traditionally good, you know, and uh, because it has these weird tropical rhythms and scenes, but also from a place 
that is emotionally really sincere. Does that sentence flow well or not? I will read it again without the parentheses just in case. This album doesn't just come from a place where music is made without thinking about the audience or about what is traditionally and necessarily good, but also from a place that is emotionally really sincere, which or all makes it really unique. In the content on itself and the album, and even more in the presentation of it all, made me ask about the whole sincerity and authenticity of music. What does it even mean to be sincere in music? I always thought if I want to be sincere in music, wouldn't be the most sincere thing for me to bang and scream my sentiments on a piano since I don't feel confident uh, about what I write and thinking about harmonies just makes me feel that I'm doing something wrong. So wouldn't be the most sincere thing for me just to scream and have my breakdown on the mic. But I feel that, I mean, it will be, sin that will be sincere, but we will be telling instead of showing. Uh, music as, as, as any other art, I guess, is not necessarily about telling, but more about showing. The ideal for me won't be to tell you how I feel, but to make you feel how I feel. And that is where you enter to the dimension of music and all the emotion ideas that you can represent so seamlessly and so quickly with a melody. Like, you, there is like giving, like giving incredible, huge streams, gigabytes, folders, books of, of, context and, and feelings and everything in just a single second because that's what a me melody does so 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 well i mean it's a very bleak record i mean it's not an apocalyptic heartbreaking record but it's heartbroken not heartbreaking but heartbroken it is not simply unique because haha goofy rock opera that sounds like the word to talk but it's also very bleak and sad but also because it has very interesting ideas in every track one of my favorite moments in the record musical moments in the record is in the making of a soul and around the i mean in the extended version around the five minutes and 32 seconds when one of the parts of the porcupine and the music transforms and feels like you are start you are dancing while planning something really wicked, 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 wicked. And but because the melody is so peaceful and so ominous, it, it gives that adjacent intention to it. Any, anyway, anyway, the piano starts to miss all the notes. Anyway, the melody starts to get more and more charged, and the piano starts to miss, starts to miss all the notes, and you get more demented and more frantic. It's just fantastic, fantastic. Me encanta, me encanta. So yeah, it's a great record. Should I talk about the characters? I think there is a love triangle, or I think not. I mean, I don't just want to describe the record to you. I just want to talk about it. And why is it so special? I also don't want to do so much footage again because I'm falling behind on my schedule. I know, I know. I surely don't pay attention to lyrics, but I have been reading them and checking the genius notations to see what the things actually mean. So to the people that do, I really appreciate it. If you give it a chance, there is actually a lot to appreciate here. I mean, if you are into minimal saints or if you, no, I don't know hate cartoons, you won't like it because it's not just emotionally honest but also very spontaneous in how it sounds. But there's still so many great ideas on this thing. It's just amazing. I need to check more residence records. I don't know, I mean, if they ever got as emotional or as emotionally honest as this. Because being this sincere to the point you don't want to talk about it because it can get embarrassing to you is hard. Like, you, you need to just take the layers of, of your consciousness and 
out there on there and but you don't want to be so over self criticizing about yourself but also don't you want to romanticize the whole thing you want probably i mean you want to say something that speaks to you i mean this is it's a very difficult thing to do so yeah that's it i mean they still have a lot of material meet their residents their first album turned 50 years old um, like some some days ago oh f- i should have put this on on the anniversary anyway it's half a century of music we could go through so there is a lot of stuff here to review so the presentation of the music it's very out there and it's very weird but it's only weird in presentation because those were the sounds the people who made the record were exploring at the time is it is not out there to scare you or weird you out or anything so if you let this record touch you there will be a lot of special moments that will speak to you or if you i don't know prefer something with less scenes or and without the operetta stage play curtain or with all um, i mean not judgment it's just an, an uh, preference you have but what i'm asking is what do you see in this record do you see what it has inside or how it presents itself. So you say, this music is weird and goofy. I mean, it's goofy and it's cartoony, but do you do you see do you see what it has inside or how it presents itself? So so well, I don't know. I guess that completes my thoughts and about presentation of music and everything. I I will I will I mean. I didn't complete everything about what I want to say about how music presents itself and what has to offer and all that, but I said that I would I, this would be a great starting point about the thing, and I will talk about the topic in the channel in the future. And yeah, that's it. I mean, I actually want to I actually want to hear what you think about this record this time, the topic itself, and. So yeah, I mean that's it. I hope the yeah, actually I you I want you to listen to it not only because of what it has but because of what I said and we can understand oh. about music. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you stay cool as a lettuce or a cucumber. I think those are kind of cool. I mean, cool like chill, like cold. Cheer you up, Paul. Good on. I hope that. What, what was my, my my ending phrase? My uh, oh. goodbye, my beautiful souls. Stay safe.